but it's like again, okay, here we are, and <laughs> we're starting rehab volume 354. Yeah. Like, we are going to fly over the Great Barrier Reef. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll fit her on my knee. Honey. <laughs> yeah. But as yeah. soon as I'm doing a deadlift and the final extension, yeah. my legs are so unstable. <laughs> Everything it just looks photoshopped. Now to try to get the threads out of my hair. The natural threads. The main reason to come to Australia was was to train with Caitlin. And we actually talked about um, probably around August if we should try to compete at Down Under Championships and like train for that together and then end the season on Down Under because both of us didn't make the games this year and we wanted a good final ending of the year and what better way to do it than in Australia, you know? Um, but <laughs> sometimes uh, other things happen and you have no control of them. So both me and Caitlin had an injury. Uh, as soon as I landed, my knees started swelling up and, and some problems around that. So the trip was a little bit about what I could do and how I could maintain as much as I could until Down Under would release the workouts and then test them out. I squat clean and snaps, but as yeah. soon as I'm doing a deadlift and the final extension, yeah. my legs are so unstable. Yeah. And yeah. I can't run, I can't like push press or anything like that. But it's just, uh, yeah, it's way better. It's just jumping, that's, yeah. that's bad. Yeah, so I mean, if it was going to be that, that marathon team and then jumping is going to be the thing that impacts yeah. yeah. And unfortunately, I uh, I couldn't do some of the things. Um, and thankfully, I, I did an MRI uh, to just go straight into recovery mode and be smart for the 2024 season. Uh, and then Caitlin, unfortunately, had a hernia, so she's getting surgery now in, in two days. So like we were both just like, what a timing. <laughs> so it's everything. Everything happens for a reason, and and we were we just decided like when Down Under was about to happen, and we both saw we weren't able to compete. We were just like, fuck. It's still been insane to just see each other every day and I almost felt like I, I lived in Australia after that and I feel like I, I miss her so much already. I wish we could live closer and to push each other when we're healthy. But some things happen for a reason so uh, we both are just going to have an awesome 2024 season because it's the year of Kobe Bryant, right? 24? When you're a competitor you know that it's very hard to not make the emotions control you and and sometimes feel like a little bit of a failure. So I decided to take those emotions completely to the side and remind myself of, I'm in freaking Australia. <laughs> there are some insane locations here. Gold Coast just has insane beaches. So I'll say my favorite beach was probably Tully Beach. But last few days, uh, I went up to Early Beach. I don't even know how, if I'm saying it right or not. And I've always wanted to to see Whitehaven Beach, like it's in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. So I started uh, the day at CrossFit Early Beach and the owner there was just so nice. He kept it open for me and they were so welcoming. It's always good to get a, get a sweat out and before going to Whitehaven. Like, I'm not there if I haven't trained, you know? I, I get energy from training while some people get drained from it, but like, that's how I function best. Good morning, guys. As you can see, I have appeared on this catamaran. Arrived at early beats yesterday um, with the main goal of seeing uh, Whitehaven Beach. It's been on my bucket list for a very long time. Supposed to be one of the world's most beautiful beaches, and 
And then, of course, uh, the hard coral reef is also on the list. And that's something I will do tomorrow. But today, uh, we are sailing and we are going to snorkel and then we're going to go to White Haven Beach. So it's going to be a good day. And they don't want any jellyfish. They want to look extra sexy. Ready? And I have. That's how I feel right now. So we just uh, ported here in Whitehaven. So uh, we're about to go over there now and explore and then go to the beach. It's gonna be super nice. Can't wait to see what it looks like. It's supposed to be an insane spot, like a look over spot, so I'm excited for this. If you can ever walk to the next island. How is that? It's so nice, and the water is insanely warm. So, a stingray just cruising around. And yes, it's pretty cool, <laughs> pretty epic. So, today, oh my God, as you can see, I am cooked from being in the sun all day on a catamaran, hopefully I said it right, going to uh, White Haven, and snorkeling, seeing all the coral and all the beautiful fishes. And yes, it's been an unreal day. And it's been an amazing tan day. <laughs> now to try to get the dreads out of my hair. The natural dreads, they're real. On the left single seat. We are going to fly over the Great Barrier Reef. Um, and we're gonna see the Heart Reef. It's been on the list for a while. Okay, when it's a bit warm, we'll have the air con after takeoff today, all right? For the flight, I just want to be aware for the flight today, we're gonna make our way to uh, the northern tip of the Whitsunders first, okay? After that, we'll go to Great Barrier Reef to see Heart Reef. You heard about it, you've seen that picture. All good? Yeah, beautiful, thank you. That's what we're doing today. Yesterday boat, or sailing in the catamaran, and then today, flying. In a little plane. You just feel everything way more than on a big plane. That's what's so insane. The door and take off and go anywhere you want, right from here. They say it's way more fun flying a smaller plane than a bigger plane. It's only a matter of time until Papa Sigmund will make me my own plane. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my god, they are real. I just want to go down and, and dive there now. 
guess I'll be accumulating my flight hours here. <laughs> Since me and Caitlin were going through some, uh, some rough time there, uh, I actually started designing a small tattoo uh, last year after Warpalooza for us both. So, uh, so yeah, we ended the trip on getting a, a matting tattoo and it's, uh, it's a sunflower because we both love sunflowers and there's a lot of meaning behind it and, and reasoning for it which I'm not going to get into here. Uh, and then to make it even more personal, I got her star sign in the star shape uh, inside the sunflower. And she got mine, so sisters. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you on this. <laughs> I mean, we came for once. You just ride with the pen. Yeah. yeah. No, but I think yeah. otherwise Shopping. it's good because you have yeah. literally... Are your pants like here? No, you don't. I'm not sure what I have it here. Believe. Where do you reckon? Where do you think? Yeah. Tanya. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll fit her on my knee. Honey. Yeah. 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 Is it like a tickle? It's a little tickle. But it's like, again, okay, here we are, and we're starting rehab volume 354, yeah. like, yeah. But it's gonna, it's just the patience, you know? We'll get there. But at least it's gonna be mindset. Yeah. Well, yeah, you have to, you. Otherwise you just like, like lose the plot. Yeah, like, I was thinking the other day, like, if I would just give up completely now, like, what would I do? I was like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's a little bit how you feel. You feel that you've just failed in everything. Yeah. And it's only one element of what you've done. Yeah. But you define your whole like life because you're so dedicated to get somewhere in the sport. And when it isn't going somewhere, you're just like, yeah. I can't achieve anything ever yeah. again. That's how you feel. But then you're like, yeah, then you just need to find like, Injuries are a blessing in disguise because they actually teach you so many things. Oh, of course, hundred percent. So, like, for me, it was like, okay, I've like when I turned my ACL, I was like, fuck, I've forgotten all my friends and everything. Like, what it is to have balance in my life. Yeah. Yeah, but like that's that's what I learned there. It's like I reunited with all my friends, and and it was just like the best or like best two years <laughs> almost because I was just like there was no pressure or anything. But then I was like, okay, I'm ready to get back here. And then like I was in such an upflow and then just like back down again. And then that's what we came up with. Yeah. Yeah. But he he's safe. I'm a happy camper. Very happy. Didn't actually really hurt that bad. It was pretty good. Yeah. It was in the sunflower. Okay. That's it, how about? How about? Oh my, don't even say that. No yeah. One day. What? So big thanks to Nina for helping me sketch it up and being such an amazing talent and doing a very, very nice detailed tattoo for us. So all in all, Australia was an insane trip and if you haven't been there, I definitely recommend going there. Um, 
although it was pretty sad not being able to compete there, but this will definitely not be my last trip, so hopefully one day I can make up for that. But now it's time to do some work. I'm currently back in Dubai and I'm seeing my physio here and we are attacking what's going on and making a plan to be the best in the 2024 season. So time to work.